I have the uh, special op opportunity and to introduce uh, one of our own here in Tampa. She is a hometown girl. She's a product of Tampa schools. Uh, we are very, very proud of her as, uh, as Florida's Attorney General. Um, she is here to talk about a issue that is of utmost importance to uh, the members of our community who will have the opportunity to take advantage of some pretty significant financial resources that will be available to them, that are available to them, that they may not be accessing just because they don't know the information. And it's involving uh, foreclosure assistance as a result of the settlement that uh, General Bondi was able to negotiate. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce uh, Florida's Attorney General, uh, but more importantly, uh, Tampa's, Tampa's own uh, Pam Bondi. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. And I know um, we're also going to hear from Mayor Foster. And thank you so, and thank you so much for um, coming over to, to our side of the bay today, or, or, or the mayor's side. It's all my side, side of the bay now, I guess, side. now that I'm Attorney General. But thank you for coming over here today. Um, we were in Orlando this morning. This week I was already in Fort Lauderdale and Miami um, on this very important issue. Because as you know, we reached one of the largest um, settlements, and, and we're very proud of that for our state um, with, with the five major banks. And we, um, we've, it was an $8.4 billion settlement. Over $3 billion of, of those dollars, well over $3 billion, have already gone back into our community or going back into our community in the form of principal reductions, loan mods, um, and, and other ways. But there's a pot of money, and this is what's so important. It's $170 million, and it is owed to Floridians. And, and let me tell you the criteria. And right now we're trying to get the percentage up because our, our, our deadline is here. And this is money. If you... If your mortgage provider was Bank of America, Citibank, Wells, Ally, or J.P. Morgan Chase, and if you lost your home to foreclosure anywhere from 2008 to the end of 2011, and you feel you suffered any servicing abuse at all, you could be entitled to, to up to several thousand dollars. So please take advantage of this. And, and right now, we, we've only, I think we're at about 55% of people that we know are entitled to this money have received it. And let me give you some examples, just some examples of the servicing um, abuses. False affidavits that, that were used dur during your loan, lost paperwork, long delays, um, robo signings. So we know that those were all rampant during th those years. So that's why it's so important that people um, apply for this money if, if you it's so simple it's a very short form you can either go on nationalmortgagesettlement.com or you can go to myfloridalegal.com which is my website and we also have a call center and i have i've actually added additional staff um, this week to help with those calls if anyone has any questions we'll help them with those questions but please, please take advantage of this money um, that, that you're owed if you lost your home to foreclosure during that time. Also, and but you do it today, do it this weekend, but please do it as soon as possible so you won't miss the deadline um, that's actually, it's about to pass. So please do it as soon as possible. But also, even if you're still in your home, um, there, there's what we call a bucket of money that was very, very important to me when, when we fought to get the settlement for Florida, for Floridians, and that's over $300 million. And, and there's not a deadline on that right now, but that's why it's so important for everyone to look at this, because if you're current on your mortgage, you're current on your mortgage, but your interest rate is five and a quarter or higher, and you're underwater, you could also be entitled to relief. And I know that affects a lot of people in our community. So please take advantage of that as well. But, but first and foremost, if you lost your home to foreclosure between 08 and 2011, please come forward and take that money because, because you deserve it. Um, and thank you, Mel, Mayor Foster. Thank you for being here so much. Go ahead. Well, it's certainly, certainly an honor to be in Tampa today standing with who I truly believe is the best Attorney General anywhere in the country. Attorney General Bondi cares, and she was able to negotiate one of the highest mortgage foreclosure settlements of any jurisdiction in the country. And uh, so, Pam, thank you for your diligence and for your passion to serving the needs of the people of this community. 
This is money on the table. This mortgage foreclosure crisis, which plagues the city of St. Petersburg, which plagues, plagues the city of Tampa, didn't occur by itself. There were servicing abuses. And so this is money that is to go to victims of this abuse. So this is money that is on the table. It's a negotiated settlement to, that the residents of the people of St. Petersburg are entitled to if they fit the parameters. And the same goes for the people of the city of Tampa. So please go to these websites. Please call into this, this call center. And this is the tip of the iceberg. Not only are there funds av available for mortgage modifications of those that are upside down in their homes and mortgage prevention and preventive items, uh, but there's also $200 million to be appropriated by uh, the Florida legislature this coming year that Mayor Buckhorn and I will lobby strongly for with other mayors to make sure that that goes back into the communities for neighborhood stabilization uh, assistance and for programs that will absolutely benefit the communities of highest need in the city of Tampa and certainly in the city of St. Petersburg. So these are funds available that are to go to the victims individually and to the cities that have been victimized by these servicing practices. So uh, once again, please pay attention. Know that uh, the mayor of the city of St. Petersburg and the mayor of the city of Tampa, we're paying attention. Uh, but also know that your attorney general uh, is passionate about making sure that these numbers, uh, the, the, the percentages get higher of those that are seeking claims. She came to the mayors of the five largest cities over, over the weekend, or actually this past Friday, and actually the, the large, seven largest cities. And when we were talking and, Mayor, and the uh, attorney general was speaking about some discouragement because people weren't getting the message. Uh, it was the mayors throughout the state of Florida that decided that we would step up, we would stand with her, thank her publicly, but to make sure that our residents and the residents throughout the state of Florida got the message. This is your money. You have been victimized. You must apply for it. So, uh, Attorney General, thank you. And uh, I'll turn it back over to the mayor of Tampa. Okay. <laughs> thank you. The. Um Mayor Foster, thank you, and thanks for uh, for coming over here. As mayors, we probably get this better than anybody because it's our citizens and our jurisdiction that uh, has paid the highest price in this foreclosure debacle. Um, all of you saw earlier this week where we committed to knock down 51 houses in Sulphur Springs that were dilapidated, that were virtually destroyed, that had become cancers in our neighborhood, attracting drug dealers and, and gangs and prostitutes. And getting some resolution to that is important. Um, those houses and those foreclosures, if left alone, become a cancer in our neighborhoods. And so not only is it important that we get this money that, that Attorney General Bondi has talked about to those victims of, of mortgage foreclosure fraud, get this money out on the street to help them, what equally is important is the settlement that she's negotiated, getting that money back out on the street and getting these lots cleaned up, uh, getting market rate housing constructed on there, putting people back to work, giving people opportunity for home, home ownership, using down payment assistance, using all of the tools available to us uh, to clean up our inner city streets. Um, cities have felt it worse than anybody. I mean, I think at one point we had over 4,000 houses in the city in some state of foreclosure um, or in some state of mortgage um, distress. And when somebody moves out of a house, they abandon it. And when they abandon it, uh, then it devalues the properties next to them. It spreads like a cancer block by block, um, street by street throughout our city. And so what the Attorney General is doing here today um, is important. It's important to the, the quality of life of our communities, and it's important to our citizens. And so the mayors, as Mayor Foster said, are joining with her to get the word out, uh, to go access that foreclosure money, and equally as important, uh, to help us as she is committed to do to make sure that that settlement money gets back out on the street where we can put it to good use. So, um, Attorney General, thank you. Thank uh, you, Mayor. We appreciate it, and I can tell you that uh, uh, the, the folks in this community, and I, and I know I speak for Mayor Foster as well, uh, appreciate it because we've got neighborhoods that are in deep distress and that need a lot of help, and we've got to get them fixed. Those kids out there deserve the same quality of life as my kids on Davis Island do. And, and we've got to find a way to, to fix this and stabilize that, 
at Congress. So, Pam, thank you. It's good to have you home. Thank you. It's great to be home. Thank you. Attacked by the killer flags. <laughs> thank you.